What is up guys? It is Top Mass Entertainment. Today I will be showcasing the development blog number 13 for August on the game Operation Heart Storestop. Um, basically be showing you what happened in the dev blog uh, and show you guys what is coming, what has been updated and so on and so forth. So uh, this is the Search 13th Dev Blog. Welcome to it. This update will review. We'll, we will be reviewing the work that the team had completed in the month of August of 2021. Uh, so, of course, the uh, OHD uh, Dev Kit has came into play. So that was obviously added recently, which was a big thing. So now people can start modding uh, stuff in the game and eventually adding it. Um, the expansions, uh, Operation Victus, we have another round of three short, three shot bursts, developer interviews prepared by the ISMC team. Uh, that basically means that they were uh, basically interviewing the ISMC team. Uh, and basically goes on to say this right here. You guys can pause it if you want to look at it and read this, but I'm going to go ahead and skip over that because it's not very important for today's video uh, so here's some of the new content that the ISMC, ismc team worked on last month they got the uh asval which is really nice uh, it looks like that's the model of the asval they also added the dragon off svd they also added a uh, eastern european militant model for upcoming character for the invictus story slash lore it must be a uh that must be kind of like a uh, insurgent force. This is cause of our, for the global terrorist network that will be used in the storyline, which is cool. So Operation Overlord, which is the, I believe, the World War II uh, mod. Invictus is the current, if you, if you didn't know, Invictus is the current generation of warfare, which is modern. And then uh, Operation Overlord is the older, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's going to be World War II for this. They added the 19, 1911 A1 to replace the existing one. So this is the new model. Um, this is a radio transceiver, of course. I believe it's going to be for like fobs and stuff, I'd imagine. They added the scope for the CAR-98, which is nice. That way it means you have a scope for basically a sniper rifle. Operation Rolling Stone, this is the Vietnam Air. Uh, they added a new head to the characters of the Vietnam uh, militant group. Vietnamese military group. Uh, Lamdong, uh, jungle foliage colors were tweaked to blend together with the environment. So uh, the foliage colors are really nice because as you can see in the gameplay in the beginning that I posted of this video, just to, sneak, just to give you guys a taste of it, that was Lamdong and that, and it actually looks very, very nice in the coloring and everything. It's, it's a very, very nice map. I'll go ahead and showcase some of the photos here. That's one of the photos. I can get out of this. Is there a negative button? So exit button so I'm just gonna kind of show you guys like that's that picture and that's show you guys this picture of the foliage of the um the Vietnamese uh militant group right here so let's scroll back down so Monte Casino which is also which is actually the World War II map that they have built for the game uh Monte Casino was finalized with tall retaining walls Props were placed throughout the outside of the Abbey and in the Abbey courtyards for hardcover and foliage was improved. So as you can see, uh, looks like there's a, it's kind of like a wall. It's almost like a, um, almost like a defense point, I guess you can say for this type of building, which is pretty nice. This is the outside of the foliage and everything. I don't like, I might have to open this on a new tab. Let me try to open it in a new tab next time because like when I show you guys the next screenshot, which is this one, I'm opening it in a new tab so I don't lose my place. So as you can see, a sniper is looking at the Monte Casino building here. It's it's a very, very nice map. Argon is World War One, I, I believe. I believe Argon is World War One. so uh, no updates for Argon, just some screenshots and your sprinkle rifle so why did it why did it do that it literally <laughs> and clicked on it to preview it's doing it again okay i guess i can't do that for that one but i can do it for this one so i think it's your sprinkler rifle is right here very very nice bolt action rifle 
model there. Rosilla is, of course, the one that's the modern militant uh, warfare map, includes insurgents and PMCs. Uh, no updates. No updates for Rosilla either. Just some nice screenshots showing off the scope of SKS and some map scales. Uh, you can see right here the SKS and the new scope that they have. Uh, Kofje, Kofji, I think you say you pronounce the landscape materials for Kofji were tweaked for more variety of ground textures and more details. This is actually is a really good photo. Oh, I am so sorry. I bumped my mic. This is actually a really good photo of uh, the map. It shows the case of lighting and everything. So animations. Uh, there was new ripen animations like this uh, is the uh, MP7. It was it's a reload animation and a uh, shooting animation along with a um, fire selector animation, which is nice. This is, of course, the modern sniper. I, I, I would assume this is the U.S. sniper, I think. I'm pretty sure. Because they have the U.S. Yeah, this is a U.S. sniper for, like, old Marines and stuff. Nice loading animation. This is a, like a World War II gun right here. I forget what it's called, but nice reload animation. This is also the War II gun. I think this is called the... Uh, it's, it's a submachine gun. I can't remember exactly. Oh, it shows it right. The grease gun. Right. I figured it was a grease gun. Couldn't think of the name of an MP40 with a nice reload animation there. So objects, models, and textures, world prop and environment assets. Various props and environment assets were created for Rosilla and Monte Casino. As you can see, this is, I believe, Rosilla right here. Or no, this is Monte Casino. Wait, this is Rosilla. That's, that's, okay, so this is Monte Casino. This is Rosilla right here. They added, I guess, a, um, a border wall into the city through the the drive of uh, the streets and this is of course Monte Casino they added a prop of a fountain and then some statues and stuff to make it more authentic which is nice ammo supply crate, supply crate. I don't know why I'm having trouble speaking today <laughs> weapon parts and optic was also made by a new modeler on the team so you got a uh, I, I would assume it's was three to four times optic which is which is not bad so upcoming and work in progress features, community hires. Thanks to all the generous support we have received on the Patreon. We are pleased to announce that the last month we onboarded and hired several members out of the community and started working on numerous features that we have had on the agenda, but and our but haven't had the time to get to gore vaulting, mantling, and overhaul to our animation systems, which will be necessary for some of the other features we have planned, such as customization of weapons. So, uh, as you can see right here, you can see gore. You can see blood uh, or bullet holes and blood splatter, which is cool. You can also see blood being off the character. You can also see explosions of the body basically uh, deforming. That's actually really pr that's actually really promising, it's considering that this will be a you know a shooter. Considering seeing this explosion model is actually really promising. Um, next month, we should have content to show off of the other systems. They are a bit too early to show off at this point, or the bulk of the, or the bulk of their work improvements were done in September. Stay tuned. So that's cool. So it looks like I don't know. It may may I don't know. Takes with a grain of salt, but maybe we'll see this in December before the beta. I'm not too sure. I, I forget if the beta was pushed back or not, but uh, I know that the last time I was at the roadmap, the beta was on tuned for. Uh, or, I'm sorry, the early release for Steam was due for uh, January, but I'm not too sure where their status is on that now. Of course, the modding content loading system, which is pretty cool because they actually have an actual folder for mods right there, which is nice. Uh, if you want to read this, you can stop the video and read this. Um, bots and AI. The AI systems also received a cleanup pass, which consists of various fixes and QOL adjustments to the setup and behavior of the OHD AI GOAP implementation. The AI can now spawn at the forward most spawnable cap points now. More improvements for AI is coming soon. That's that's nice. They can spawn at the forward cap points instead of spawning it all the way at main like they usually do. Other fixes. Uh, in addition, the lead programmer assisted with some refactoring and cleanup of the work in progress scope optics code as well as implement some fixes in the engine code for various client side issues that players would intermittently encounter after a map change. Well, that's really good. So that's basically the August um, update uh, to what they've been working on and what is to come. Uh, it, it actually, the, 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 uh, the developers and basically the people that have added to the team have actually 
done a pretty good job of updating the game. I, I on the uh, test environment, since I own it, I usually see um, around maybe two to three uh, updates to the test environment a week, which is good. And I, I don't know, of course, I don't know what all that includes because it's not usually on the um, Steam page for me to look at, but they do do updates like two to three times a week on the test environment and one big update on the main environment once they're done with the test environment and testing it. But they are currently progressing the game pretty nicely. Uh, there's still a lot to do, and I'm sure Billy Drake and his team are uh, definitely going to uh, do it properly, but there's still a lot to do on the game. Uh, polishing and all that stuff, but I I'm very pleased with how the game runs. I'm very pleased with how it plays. Uh, I'm very excited for the future for it, and uh, that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, the dev blog. Uh, you can also read this in the description. I'll post the the link in the description to the Steam dev blog for you guys to read and their Patreon, so you can go to support them and buy the game. Uh, to basically, you can't. The game is not free right now. It's going to be free when it comes out on Steam. Um, but if you want to support the game now and be able to test it out before early access uh, on Steam, you can go to their Patreon and it's $5 for the entry, uh, entry cost to get the key and access to the early access. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you have a great day. Take it easy. It's Thomas Entertainment. This is Top Mass Entertainment.